uh, moving forward without my, I mean, simplistically, it seems like you just plug Trey Mason in and leave Ontario in his role and soldier on. Is it that simple or no? Uh, I'm not going to say it's that simple, but that's close to, you know, where we're at. And, um, you know, not that, uh, you know, Ontario's going to have to obviously carry a bigger role. And we know that. Trey's obviously going to have to come on and see, how, you know, see if he can help. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we're, uh, we're working in that direction. Is there anybody besides those two? Is there any, is Anthony Gully Morgan still out, right? <clears throat> yes. yes. Is there a number three right now? Well, we're looking at some different possibilities. Uh, I'm not going to say who they are right now because they're just uh, ideas that we've thrown around. But um, if, we move, uh, if we move further along into a position where I feel comfortable uh, that those guys are actually guys we're going to, you know, we're, we're really working and making progress with, then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. What is Mike's status right now? Is he on the team? Is he practicing? Uh, no, he is, um, uh, again, he has been, um, um, he's been um, temporarily um, uh, removed from the team. Uh, he's not going to be playing in the bowl game. He's not going to be practicing for the bowl game. Uh, as I said in, with other players in the past, um, uh, you know, the suspension is, um, you know, the suspension is going to be until he does the things that we feel like he needs to do to get back at Auburn and, and to get back in an Auburn uniform. And when he does that, uh, if he does that, he'll have a chance. And if he doesn't, he won't. So clearly the ball is in his court. Pretty much it's up to him at this point. As I said, if he does the things that he needs to do, uh, that we believe he needs to do to get back in an Auburn uniform, uh, then he'll have a chance to be back on our football team. Was there a date in your mind where this has got to be settled one way or the other, You know, whether it's February, March, and you can move on? Tell Trey Mason he's going to be the guy. Well, to be honest with you, I've I've moved on because you know I am all in for playing. Talking about the players that are with us right now, um, the ones that are not with us right now, uh, that's really not you know not not my focus. So uh, you know, in uh, this case, uh, it's disappointing. Uh, but again, uh, I'll be glad to talk about all the ones that are here, and I've moved on from the ones that aren't. Do you feel like uh, Trey Mason is ready to step up and take over a bigger role for your team? Well, we're hoping so. You know, the good thing about it is, is that he's played enough this year to at least give, you know, give himself a chance to, um, you know, to, to contribute. And he's done some things uh, this year carrying the football, not just on special teams, but, you know, offensively. It makes us think that he'll have a chance to, to help and contribute. But he's going to have to work really hard, uh, and he's going to have to, you know, if he's going to carry a bigger role in this particular game, uh, he's got a lot of work in front of him. You talk about the quarterbacks and, and, and how is that going to play out? And would you like to kind of have a, a, a plan? And, you know, is there a certain day like going into the game plan? Is, is that what you're looking for? Or is it just kind of playing by ear all the way up until the week of the, the ball game? Well, the great thing is with this much time, you know, you have a chance to work, you know, work all the quarterbacks and, and um, you know, get them all polished up. And, you know, certainly, uh, they all need it, and uh, it'll be great for Kyle to get, you know, have some time to really build up some more reps. Uh, no question about that. You know, in terms of reps, other than kind of the wildcat stuff that we've done with him. So, uh, but again, you know, quarterbacks are going to be like every other position. You know, we're going to we're evaluating everybody every day, and uh, you know, we're going to uh, we're going to proceed that way, and hopefully, they all get better. What would Kyle have? To, what would Kyle have to do to, to prove to you that he's ready? What are you looking for from him? Uh, you know, I mean, obviously he'd have to have a better grasp of the offense, you know, than we felt like he had, uh, you know, during the year. And it wasn't that he wasn't growing. He was growing. You know, he was understanding it more. And he was getting a better grasp of it. But, again, I think, you know, this is kind of like a pre-spring practice. You know, what you find uh, many times is young guys, you know, they play the season, they take a couple of weeks off, and then they come back and it's it's kind of – you know, th the light kind of comes on. You know, they kind of, you know, they kind of get things. And so, uh, you know, with all our young guys, we hope we hope that's happening. So.